Sorry. I'm staying in room 8356. This is Saturday night. Where has the bags out? As you can see, everybody has their bags out and they're going to pick them up in the middle of the night. That is, if you're not carrying them off the ship, I'm going to carry mine off the ship. No, they're making money. No. This is the internet lounge on my floor. It's the fifth deck. It's an area where you can sit here. You can see off and see the royal promenade. There's the glass bridge and the entrance. I'm going to go to the elevator and hit the down button. See on the on the eighth deck. These are glass elevators. On these over here are not. Let's see, it's Saturday. They put that on there every day. I'm going to go down to the fifth. The fifth. Is really the main deck, as you can tell. It's where the Royal Promenade is. Me and the other items. There's steps between many of the floors. can look in to the dining room. That's the dining room in there. It's the fancy dining room. On this floor, it's called Galileo's. That's where you had my time dining. I had a dining at 8 o'clock every night. But on this floor, it's more designed for, for people that don't have a certain time they're going to eat and they can come and go. You got elevators on both sides. On the fifth deck, you can still see down a couple of decks. As you can see, uh, one of the glass elevators just came in. If you look way up, we're on the fifth deck. It goes up to 12 decks, even though there's a total of 14. If you look up above, there's you know huge traffic lights just there to look like that. I'm going to go toward the Royal Promenade, and again, this is the, the glass bridge. Checkout's in the morning, so you can see all kinds of people in line. These posts change colors all the time, and so does the Royal Promenade name. It changes from green, like the posts were blue, and that's green. And after a little while, it will change to another color. I'll, I'll go backwards and look. See, the posts are now pink. The bridge always remains a blue. There's the mini decks where you can look off into the promenade. Oh, it's green. And the ceilings, they have a, a lot of different things. But as you run down through here, there's all kinds of specialty shops. There's Brito. It's kind of an artsy type of store. A place that has jewelry and things. And here's the Cafe Promenade. Cafe Promenade. You can go in. I'll, I'll walk in. As you can see, you can go in here. You can get coffee 24 hours a day. You don't have to pay for this coffee, it's just all the coffee you want. There's water. You can get Starbucks, but you have to pay for Starbucks. But they have all these sandwiches you can get anytime. And cookies, or cakes. 
and all this comes with the with the crews. Over there is the cupcake cupboard. You actually have to pay for what's at the cupcake cupboard. Then you have Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And for that you have to pay as well. And I've rarely seen anybody in all week long. But but uh it's here. As you can tell. There's cows up there. Also if you look, you have the the DreamWorks characters on the ship. I've seen some of them, but you don't see them walk around all the time. You have to see them specific times. They have breakfast and everything. There's always something set up. Over there is the general store. They sell liquor and cigarettes and all kinds of things there. But there's always something set up in the middle, some type of, of gifts or something. And you, you know, they're always trying to say it's some type of deal. There's a big fancy jewelry store. Here's a car and a lot of the videos you'll see on the ship. That. Several restaurants. Here's one called Vintages. Met the captain here. Over here is the logo store. It's where they sell everything in here has the Royal Caribbean logo which is that logo there. It has a lot of the material, a lot of things like that, and a lot of things about the cruise ship. Have another little bar area, the Bull and Bear. There's always music playing. There's a perfume and cosmetic store. I turn around. This is the, the upstairs entrance to the casino where you can go down and play that type of thing. If you look over here. At the Bull and Bear, there's someone actually inside playing music. We'll walk on towards the end. Today in this hallway, there was a big parade with the DreamWorks characters with Shrek and, and several of them selling watches at this middle thing. On the cruise, the one thing you do have to pay for is Cokes, but unless you have a Coke package, and you get them from these machines here. You can see they're decorated for Christmas pretty big time. Over here is Sorrento's. It's Italian. You can come here uh, until about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night and get any type of pizza. And it's all it all comes with the cruise. You don't have to pay. See, and you can get water and tea and that type of stuff all the time. Again, there's jewelry stores, fashion boutiques, the big tree. Here on this end, this is the front end of the ship. There's yet another bank of elevators. For this end of the ship, there's about 4,000 people staying, you know, customers on the ship. Then there's about 1,500 more workers on the ship. It's kind of amazing. And again, look around. It's just like you have a full mall inside the middle of the place. Down there is Arcadium. That's where a lot of the, the fancier shows took place. Uh, all the headline shows went there. Up here is Pharaoh's, I believe is what it's called. But at Arcadia, they had uh, singing acts, they had comedians, they had all types of Broadway shows. It was a very interesting place. Every night down here at the bottom, let me see if I can go around the corner, they had someone who would you know, sing alongs. You kind of hear it. They have, they have the sing alongs in there. Between all that, all these different places you can go on the ship. It's, it's just an amazing thing. You know, one more view from that angle. There's the, the uh, singers down there. An amazing place. Freedom of the seas.